One of the most frequently asked questions we get at Banish is how large are your needle sizes and why are they not larger? So there's a big myth that people think a longer needle is actually is going to help their skin more. And in fact, it is not the case. Your skin, let me show you a photo, but to kind of do the collagen induction or collagen remodeling, there's no need for the needle to go all the way to the end. Once it kind of hits that point to trigger collagen production, you don't need to go any further, right? So a lot of times there will be like three millimeter needles, four millimeter needles, and all they're gonna do is cause more trauma and injury to your skin. And it is absolutely not necessary. So this is the Bible for me in terms of microneedling. It's called The Concise Guide to Derma Needling. I highly recommend you purchasing this book written by um, Dr. Lance Sutterfield. So Dr. Lance Sutterfield and Dr. Fernandez are like the pioneers in microneedling and I'm surprised more people on YouTube don't talk about them because they just have so much good stuff in here and they wrote these books like before you know microneedling was very popular and so in this book he talks about what size needle is best for your skin. Okay, so let me read you. So when the concept of rolling was first implemented, Dr. Fernandez, he designed a 3mm roller, but he said like, okay, he thought like, okay, the longer the needles, the more it would like help the skin, blah, blah, blah. The drawback was that it was too painful to do in a clinic setting. And then you put in the operating room costs, like the staff, all of that the cost benefit ratio was more in favor of going ahead with the facelift, right? So after all of that, he was like 3mm is like not gonna be practical, but however, Dr. Aus and Dr. Fernandez, then later on, it was discovered that using a 1mm roller, one millimeter roller was actually the same as a three millimeter roller. So there is actually no reason to go longer in terms of needles shorter right as long as you're stimulating the part of the cells where it will stimulate collagen production there's no need to induce more trauma to the skin and this is why there's so much controversy over rf microneedling because some dermatologists and plastic surgeons complain that especially with that radio frequency heat you're going all the way past the layer of skin and into the fat parts of your face thereby melting the fat in your face and creating volume loss, right? And obviously we want more volume, we want more collagen in the skin, and the whole reason why people do filler is to increase volume in the skin. Okay, so then Dr. Schwartz did a study which showed an average 206% increased collagen six weeks after treatment in 20 patients. Surprisingly, new collagen was only found to a depth of 0.5 to 0.6, despite injury being a depth of 1.5 millimeters. Okay, so let me read that to you again. Surprisingly, new collagen was only found to a depth of 0.5 mm to 0.6 mm, despite injury being a depth of 1.5 mm. So this is exactly the reason why the needles in the Banisher 2.0, 3.0, ever since the Banish company started in 2011, this is why they have been in this length because I have done the research and I have looked at the studies and I've realized that I do not want to risk anything with you guys like I you know the business could make more money if we sold longer needles and sold you know two millimeter needles but that is so dangerous and I feel like we have younger customers here I wanted to create a very foolproof solution that was completely safe to use at home plus 0.5 millimeters is all you need for collagen stimulation. So anyone who's telling you, you need your face to look like a vampire, you need your face to be super bloody, nah, -uh, nah, -uh, because the evidence is here. They saw that collagen production happen at a 0.5 to 0.6 millimeter okay so based on these studies the author was prompted to do a retrospective study of 44 of his patients treated with needling while the number of patients in some groups was insufficient to draw accurate conclusions the finding were similar so the finding was similar less is best in that the 0.5 millimeter group produced the best results in the shortest amount of time so this is called um this journal if you want to look it up is called plastic and reconstructive surgery April 
April 2008 per percutaneous collagen induction therapy um, and an alter alternative treatment for scars, wrinkles, and skin laxity. So new collagen forms no deeper than 0.6 millimeters regardless of depth of injury. So there you go. 0.5 millimeters is all you need. Okay, so those who are trying to like go two millimeters in, three millimeters in with a doctor pen, you don't need to do that. You just need to do this consistently. All you need, I got you. All right, thank you all so much for watching. And please, we're doing a giveaway on the newest Banished Kit 3.0. So please comment below, okay? Please comment below, leave a comment, leave a question whatever um for your chance to win the banished kit 3.0 all the the info will be in the description box below but i hope i have answered some of your concerns as to what needle size should be